Amityville, I remember when I first saw this movie, I couldn't even take a shower for a little while. Like, like I was like, I was like looking out of the fucking shower <laughs> curtains. Like, you Damn. know, I was putting, I was, I, I would put shampoo on my head and I'll just take the burn. I just couldn't even close my close eyes. eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it, it horrified me. It really scared me that much. Yo, so all these movies, right? All the horror films, they have very distinctive film music, soundtracks, that if you're in a dark room or a dark alley or somewhere by yourself and you hear that shit, instant chilly, chills up your spine, hairs fucking standing up. What's that? What's that soundtrack that you're listening to and just scares the shit out of you? There is a movie that has a soundtrack that will freak you out on a sunny, bright, beautiful, perfect day. Fucking Jaws, dude! That Jaws soundtrack, <laughs> that yeah. Jaws sound, it's iconic. <laughs> it is back to the it, beach. It, it is a stressful, <laughs> stressful song. I was just listening to that right before we recorded. I'm like, man, I was like, that Jaws theme is stressful. Just the yeah. slow build. <laughs> I don't think I'd be scared of it though. You know what I mean? Like that's maybe the stress level might if be. If it there, was but... a bright sunny day and I heard. I'd be like <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I'd be like You just gotta run somewhere You just gotta start, run Just start running dude <laughs> You just gotta run straight forward Just so you're just gonna keep going nah, Tony's I mean, the bravest man on planet I think it wouldn't scare him I'd be running my ass off A bright sunny day my G You see any <laughs> Like you see shit coming, you see you see shit coming at you. What if you're There's no in the way ocean. you're running? <laughs> well, they left me in the ocean that one time, so that was probably the time I should have heard that. Donna, Donna, Donna. Was the, um, was the lifeguard was, there though? <laughs> there was no lifeguard that could save me at that time. None. Piece of shits. But I can tell you I one song. I would have thrown in the wrath for you too far we're like a half a mile in right pooch Jesus. man down man down <laughs> that one was loud we're gonna have to time stamp all these whistles so pooch can go Bro, and maybe adjust the level of <laughs> but um the silent hill theme music right it's a game it's not a film but that shit would scare the fuck out of me I don't remember. I have only ever watched someone play Silent Hill. Is it just like, it's like orchestra sounds, or what? What is it? What does the soundtrack sound like? Real like eighties like vibe, like like the thing type soundtrack shit like that, like that eerie. Like I'm good. The slow start eerie sound, high pitched. It had like some alternative rock to it too. It was like scary though. Scary ass shit. Can't fuck with that. I mean, the classics are there for a reason, right? Like that psycho theme, the 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 the, the stabbing shower scene, that all those high pitched strings in that scene. Shit's creepy. That shit's super creepy. Yo, the the Resident Evil safe room music. Creepy. Really? If that you- is not what that sounds like at all. <laughs> if you if you listen to the original safe music from Can uh, listen to it it's right like now. a piano yes don't All make right. me go look at myself yo it's, it's true it sound like the ice cream song you were trying to sing <laughs> man y'all want to talk about spooky music the other night I was uh, I was checking my mail and it was super late and I was like 11 p.m. or something. But I was like I was waiting for some, for a, a specific letter and I'd forgotten to check it earlier, right? So I went out to my mailbox at 11 o'clock, and there were, I could, did not see this vehicle anywhere, but someone was riding around the neighborhood playing fucking ice cream music, like ice cream truck mm-hmm. music. 
and this is like 11 o'clock. This is fucking late. That ice cream truck man should not be out at 11 o'clock at night. And it was creepy. It was super creepy. Ice you know what's crazy? That happens over here in Lake Worth. Yeah. It's an ice cream truck that comes around like 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Ain't no kids out during the week at that time. Even in the hood like that, right? He just goes playing it. I'm just like, what the fuck is this guy really selling? Have at you this ever time? gone out to see what's going on? Maybe. Fuck no, it's just no, another do not do. May, That's another do maybe not do. you're gonna check and like you're gonna be going out to order ice cream. You're gonna just find people. You're gonna see people just like chained up in the back of this truck or something. It because. is the rest. The Resident Evil Two rest. The rest from music. <laughs> you're thinking that. Dun, dun, dun. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. That's the no, no, no. That's the that's the police theme. The save Damn, room. I, I can't. Resident I can't Evil Two save it. room. Yeah, but how does it you're go? You're seeing like, it, but I can't picture hum it. it. Hum it out. So I. So I want to say, don't do it. He's I, terrible. I'll put it in the chat. <laughs> um, he can't hum it. So the the soundtrack that scared the shit out of me was um. You gonna sneeze? <laughs> I got allergies like a motherfucker right now, bro. I don't know. Maybe these night recordings ain't the wave for my allergies. I had allergies last time too. If I were to That's sneeze, right. I would just have to turn my camera off because I'm just gonna be covered in mocos and I'm not gonna be able to wipe them without <laughs> removing my face paint. True. <laughs> my camera feed would nah. be ruined. Bro, Friday the thirteenth, that opening theme, like if I heard that. Pretty much at any time, I would also be scared. It has the iconic that. Ch, 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 ha, ha. Yep, oh, I'd be yeah. like, I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> and especially if, if you heard yeah. that in the dark alley, I would just start running. I'd be like, nah, fuck that. A heavy breathing, definitely top scary shit. Tony, let's say that we're staying in this like this abandoned warehouse or something, right? This haunted abandoned warehouse, this whatever, right? Let's say we're staying in an abandoned like sanitarium or an abandoned orphanage. And we're walking around and suddenly we hear like a little kid singing like a little like a nursery rhyme or something. Shooting at you. That would be the scariest thing in the fucking world, right? Little kids singing, singing little like nursery rhymes. Scary. Almost always scary. Imagine you're there and the little kid comes. Wait. Doesn't Children of the Corn have a theme music like that too? I would just, I think. Oh man, it's been a long time since I've watched that one. It's been a few months. That's all I can picture. The two they're coming down the hallway and they're little fucking. Oh, you're thinking big of wheel. the Shining. You're thinking of those. Oh, is uh, it the Shining? The twins uh, come play yes, with yes, us. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> the twins. Yeah, fuck out of here. Come play with you. Bah, I'm shooting rounds all <laughs> in the hallway, bitch. Fuck out of here. Come play. You're gonna kill children. It, yeah, a ghost children. They're How do you dead know it's already. a ghost child? Yo, ain't no kid in, in the middle of the night, <laughs> DK. Right around with a big wheel, Timba. Come play with me. First off, what you doing? Out You're of getting your characters mixed up. Yeah, so you, bad. The main, he's the gonna kid, shoot a the, child. The, yeah, yeah. yeah you, kid. you would, you would be in the big wheel in this situation. <laughs> you would be the one riding the big wheel around. Yeah, the kid is the one riding the big wheel. <laughs> That's what I'm. That's what I'm, that's what I'm oh, and then yeah. he comes across the twins uh-huh. on his big wheel. <laughs> yeah, Tony has a way. Tony, were you trying to say that if you were riding a big wheel, if you ran into twins, you would shoot? No, them? I'm telling you what the little ki- what would scare the shit out of me. And I would just shoot down the hallway. The little kids, the twins, riding their bike. Do you want to come play with me? Yeah, I'm the no kids bitch. don't ride a bike. <laughs> the main the main boy is the one riding the bike. That's what we're telling you. Oh, you're right. Yeah, the girl, he just I love it. This is, I, this is, all right. He's Capture so right. Capture this moment. He hits the this, corner and the this girls are down at the bottom. This face that Tony was making. <gasps> like, he was so fed up with. <gasps> and it's like, dude is so confused. You got three people trying to help you, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's such an old fucking movie, Pooch. What do you want me to do? These you are old ass fucking movies. We watched you, it a year ago. You watched ago. three movies at once. You didn't watch it. He missed the scene. He was no, those that movie wasn't. First off, that movie wasn't on the list. Let's let's, let's stop. Let's stop. Let's stop the shit right now, please. The movie wasn't on the list. What's the name of the movie, though? The Shining. That wasn't on the list. <laughs> 
Rewind. <laughs> Wasn't the shiny our the winner? Episodes. Who was our winner? Oh my god. Maybe alien it was the or thing? the thing. Or alien, it was alien yeah. or the thing. Okay. Yeah. The, wasn't the shining. Shining <laughs> wasn't on that list. I don't. I don't remember. My memory's. My memory's garbage. No, no, it's okay, out there. It's just a twenty what, thing. What you is the scariest? Like not like. What is the scariest sound to hear in in your house at night? Is it like a banging, a crash. DK. Would it be someone else's voice? Right it, like breaking glass. Breaking glass scares me. Like any time that yeah. I've ever heard like breaking glass in the middle of the night, I have to check the entire fucking house. You know, or what about the the doorknob twisting? Like someone's trying to jiggle it or open it. Oof, that one. That was that. That one's creepy because there's only people are what makes that they they're what make that. Yeah, sound. that's so what I hate with one of these and squirrels. And- Bow, shoot wow. the whole fucking door handle right off. Done. Out of here. <laughs> Just, <laughs> just shoot the whole um, fucking door handle right off. It's a toy gun. Don't worry about it. It goes with um, the prop. What? I'm you- <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm taken aback by so many things I want. <laughs> sorry. I've never had glass break on me in the middle of the night. This has never happened. I would say scary. I, I, Mateo, a- said, Mateo said, every time this happened, I have what? to. Like, what? <laughs> Well, I, I've, I've lived, I've lived in a lot of apartments. It's, it's never been my window that's been broken, but like you hear that broken glass sound come, you gotta, you gotta go check on that. Man, where the I've, I've, fuck? I've in lived in your house or outside? Outside, like other apartments, or like someone drops I a see. glass or something what is, outside. What is wrong with you? How would you go out and check it out, anyways? Why would no, I not? No, no, I know what he's it. saying. <laughs> you, if you live like in a gated community, sometimes people be chilling outside. Sometimes should be like like that be happening. Mm-hmm. I, why the fuck would you leave the safetyness of your house? You gotta check, dude. You gotta go check around your house. You gotta see what's broken. Yeah. You're the first dude to die in every fucking movie. You want to check yeah. shit out. I'm the neighbor that's making sure that their uh, neighbors aren't getting harassed. Oh, you're the nosy neighbor. Don't mind your business, neighbor. <laughs> okay. Hey there, neighbor. Yeah, just like that. Just like that neighbor from the Dahmer series. Oh, shit. Facts. <laughs> I know she who you're talking about. I never up. watched it, but I know who you're talking about. Mm-hmm. She got his ass arrested. But um, I've been telling you for years. <laughs> so... Yeah, out of the things you listed, a voice would definitely be the scariest. Yeah. Like, if there was a voice in my house, like, any voice, it doesn't matter. There's degrees of scariness. Like, if it was a kid's voice. Oh, man. Now I got a daughter, so maybe I'm a little primed differently. But, like, before I had a kid, if there was, like, a little girl's voice in my house... Pucho. <laughs> oh, no. Nah. I'm oh, jump out the window, that's, bro. I'll be that, out. That sounded like the Sega tone. Sega. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are not registering what just happened, though, right? He just said if he heard the voice in his house say that, he's jumping out the window. It's gone. He's leaving Lisey behind. Lisey has to fend for herself. Well, they ain't coming for her. No, no, no. Say her name. <laughs> no, no. He he's clearing the window so she can get out of the window safely. He's tossing Facts. his entire body oh, through. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> they can land on me. Ro, what is it? Rochambeau? No, Rochambeau. <laughs> Swan Tom Swan. Whatever the fuck this shit Swan is. Swan Bomb. Swan Tom Bomb. Right out the window with me, baby. Let's go. Shit is ridiculous. <laughs> Swan Tom bombing outside of a window is wild. Just the thought of that, like, is wild. That's the next level move. That's the next evolution of the Swan Tom bomb. I can't get over the fact that Tony just said Rochambeau. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Swan I was shocked Tom when I said it myself. Swan. Swan, Swan Tom Swan Rochambeau. Swan like the wonton soup. Soup. That's what I was Swan thinking. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> but he's Googling if that's even a thing. If what's a thing? Juan Tom Schwam. Oh, I'm not Googling that. I don't oh. even know how to spell know. that second word. Yeah, the first. <laughs> Schwam. Schwam. <Yeah. laughs> I was trying to remember who Rochambeau was. He has something to do with the American Civil War. I just don't remember. Rochambeau? Or not the American That's- Civil War, the Revolutionary War. Yeah. There's a French officer or something. You know, the French helped us, you know. I didn't know that. They didn't help us in 9-11. Freedom fries, baby. I mean- I mean, Halloween, the Halloween, the movie itself might have the best soundtrack, like the best horror movie soundtrack. That you shit think? sounds like Halloween. If I hear that, I'm like, oh, it's Halloween. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, 
that little like that little piano riff in that song song, yes. is, song is good it's creepy it gets all yes. the vibes right nice. s tier halloween music damn s tier right. it's like mariah carey and christmas oh she's defrosting right shit. now facts she's <laughs> nearly defrosted I heard that. that Target already has fucking Christmas stuff out, dude. I don't even have Facts. my I don't even have my Halloween candy yet. <laughs> oh, they had it before October even came a knocking, bro. That's crazy to me. They had Christmas stuff in September, you saying? Like October first, I October. saw Christmas lights in Home Depot. I saw Target had fucking little ornaments and shit. Walmart got fucking Rudolph reindeer shit everywhere. I'm like, bro, it's not even October, like a hundred percent, bro. You know, I mean, that, that brings up a good question though. Like, who created Halloween? Where did it come from? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I also had the Halloween theme on, on my list. Um, a, a, a theme that always creeped me out is the Amityville Horrors um, song. Mm -hmm. It has like this weird, if you go and listen to it, it has like this weird, like, almost peaceful vibe. And then you start huh. hearing, la, la, and you're like, yep. uh-uh, <laughs> I don't like that shit. And then it has like these... These are creepy undertones. I don't know how to describe it, but it sounds like a little bit like, oof, there's something creepy about this. And then it kind of goes back to pleasant music. The idea that you're living in this beautiful house that has this horrifying undertone in it. I feel like the theme goes with this so perfectly. And anyways, that, that song creeps me out my whole life. I, I Amityville, I remember... When I first saw this movie, I couldn't even take a shower for a little while. Like, like I was like, I was like looking out of the fucking shower <laughs> curtains. Like, you Damn. know, I was putting, I was, I, I'll put shampoo on my head, and I'll just take the burn. I just couldn't even <laughs> close you don't my close eyes. Your eyes. <laughs> it horrified me. It really scared me that much. Does it feel like when when you have the soap in your eyes, right, and you're there like this rubbing, you feel like something's trying to reach out and get you at times? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That must you guys, like my a, wife. I wash my face. I, I I take soap and I I go white face with the soap, and I I have my eyes open the whole time. I I I'm become impervious to like soap burn <laughs> because of my fears. So now I just go like, and I just be like, my whole face is white with soap, and I'll be looking around the room. Like, my wife sees me. She's like, "How the fuck do you do that?" <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> to this day, that's fucking. That's how you know you've been traumatized. Yeah, that shit scares me too. Though I ain't going for it. That same line of thought, though. That uh, that the creepiest part of Nightmare on Elm Street for me was always that little like creepy like rhyme about Freddy. The one, two, two. Freddy's yeah. coming for you. Like that always, shit creepy. <laughs> I always pictured the two twins from The Shining. Are they're the girls singing that? Like oh. that's the only thing that makes sense. It just sounds like them to me. There's probably an Easter egg or some shit in the movie where it's like probably them. The first Dead Space game had the twinkle, twinkle little star. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, children's songs are creepy. They are never. The only time they're not creepy is if you can see the kid that's singing the song. Oi, cooking. Would you like to play some Rainbow Six Siege? <laughs> What? What are you? What are you referencing? Why yeah, are you referencing the, that in, the, why? in this moment? I, I, I'm so <laughs> lost and confused. Because it was a little kid who said it. All right. <laughs> well, the so odd connection. Man. I feel. Um, you know what's a terrible one though, and uh, people, I, I guess people can get afraid by it, is the fucking Chucky theme music. That's another little kid's voice shit. I don't remember oh. the Chucky one, actually. When I was looking oh. this up, that one didn't even click as like memorable, I don't think. It's like a it's oh, like it's, it's like a piano song almost, right? E more vocal. What was the song? It was Freddy? One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Yeah, that's what yeah. we just said. Three, yeah. four, better lock the door. Yeah, I was saying it sounds like the girls from the ex the the, the girls from, from The Shining are singing the song. Mm-hmm. 
I like the. Dude, uh, your brain just turned off. We just had this whole <laughs> conversation, and then you came up with, "Hey, kicking." We we're like, "What the fuck?" His bra- his mind. It was just Zero. trying to. It was just trying to figure out how to work that res- that response in, and he wasn't processing anything. <laughs> I like the. Uh, I like some of like the the heavy like synth synth heavy like like soundtracks we've gotten to come back to it follows man that it follows soundtrack is good whether it's scary or not i, I i'm not positive I, I just remember liking the soundtrack a lot because it's got like the those like synthy things in it y'all ever see the uh y'all ever see the apprehension engine never there's this uh there's this instrument that this guy invented that is like for making horror movie soundtracks and it's got like uh it's it's got like this little like this windy thing that has like steel wires that get that uh, and it winds this like wooden uh like circle against it so it makes like that like creepy like metal creaking sound it's got rollers that you can hit and tap and put like violin bows on and make like the high pitch like screeching sounds and like thunks very and nice it's just it's just this whole like crazy instrument he put together just to make horror movie spooky sounds it's got like a little like spring thing that you can hit that makes like a little like a like a TikTok kind of sound. It, it's pretty cool. It is creepy. It's just I an entire know. instrument that's designed to make your blood pressure rise. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah. Now nah, I'm good off of all that shit, but either way, if you stuck with us this far. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, share, like, follow. We're on all social media platforms, all audio only platforms. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. My eyes are fucking hurting so bad. I have an eye infection, bro. I apologize. My eyes Yo, when you me. first started your little spiel, you put that eyebrow so high that I was like, "Have I never noticed this? Is this what, is it the I face that? paint that makes it? No, not that you can do it. It's that you would do it, and that you do do it." I was like, "I was like, is he, has he been doing this the whole time, and I just never noticed because yeah. the, the face paint is creating the contrast for me." And I love that you brought it so high, and then you brought it so low. He just, I'm sorry. He just completely. <laughs> Like, I've been trying to squinch my eyes to, like, make it not hurt, but whatever. If you stuck with me and my eye problems, I'm on my Taylor Swift shit tonight. Katy Perry. Hit that like button, man. Katie Share. Perry. Who is it? Katy K- K- who? Perry T- K- oh. Taylor Swift. <laughs> I thought it was Taylor Swift. I'm on my E shit. I'm here taking everything from her. Taylor Swift just dropped an album, by the way. Listen to to some of the songs. They're pretty fucking good, actually. They're pretty fucking good. I've never listened to Taylor Swift before. What the fuck Save, made you want to listen to that? I I heard I've a clip on to... I heard a clip on Twitter, and that's what got me on it. Okay. I've been trying to listen to the music that's about to go trending, and so oh. since she dropped her album, she just dominated the feed for a little while. Mm-hmm. Um, Pujo's keeping his ears to the streets. Damn. Like a good king. Mm-hmm. Someone say I put everybody on Steve Lacey. He's got his Some, little bird. He's got his little birds out there. <laughs> oh, that's fucking game of throw reference. But yes, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, as always, go one up yourself. Peace. <laughs>